Hey, what's up, you guys? How you guys doing today? It's April 27th, Monday, new week, almost into May. Can you believe it? April is pretty much, April's like wrapped up. It's pretty crazy. Even in this lockdown, uh, this this new world we live in, it's still flying by. I wanted to pop on and talk today about the uh, press conference from Ontario. Um, what's happened with that press conference and uh, and go from there. So they've, there's three stages uh, that they are announced, they've announced that are they're gonna try and reopen Ontario with. Um, stage one is more healthcare, stage two, they're gonna slowly open up like parks and, and some retail stuff. And then if the numbers basically to hit these different stages and the parameters within these stages, um, the numbers for uh, once they start doing more testing, which they're already at about 12,500 tests. Once they hit 14,000 tests and are doing it every day, they're gonna monitor those numbers. And if those numbers continue to uh, drop, then they'll open up more stuff. Makes sense. Um, and I'm fine with, with the logic of that. But I do think the reality is um, we're probably still a couple of months from any kind of normality um, with regards to having a majority of things open, meaning you go back to work. That's, that's probably a realistic timeline, at least a couple months, which I think is still too long. Um, as I drive by all these grocery stores, Home Depots, Lowe's, Canadian Tires, anywhere where you can get something, they're packed, they're rammed. Um, Walmart, everything, I'm, I'm driving, it's four, or sorry, 3.30, it's rush hour traffic right now. 3.30 on a Monday. It's rush hour traffic. Now I'm deemed essential. I've got clients moving into houses that that we have work that's been ongoing before all of this started that we're finishing up. So I'm on the road to and from because I need to be. But like a majority of these people, I get people need to go out and get stuff and, and food and all that, but it's rush hour traffic. Like where is everybody going? what's going on here so my point is this and I've gotten some pushback from a lot of people and I've had a lot of people agree with me but the people that give me pushback is well Ken we can't open up stuff we're supposed to stay inside we're supposed to like self-isolate people there is already a majority of the population that is out all of the time and there is no I think for me the frustration has been there's no guidelines of how to properly, if we wanna have these places open, how do we properly do it? What is the guidelines for that? I think we can open up a majority of retail if we have mandated masks that you have to wear, number one, and number two, you need to sanitize, you need to, you need to wash your hands, uh, or, or sanit use, use hand sanitizer. You go in the store, whether there's a time limit, there's only a certain number of people in there, we can get back to some sort of, of normalcy if we can do this. Because the reality is we're doing it already, but, but we're not doing it in the most safe way that we could. So um, I just think we could do it. I think we could do it better is, is all I'm saying. Personally, I think we could do it better. And, and, and have more stores open, which means more people back to work, which means you know people can start feeding their families again. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's kind of been the, the, the update for today. I'm happy that the Ford government is taking the steps to open up the government. I think that's, or to open up Ontario. I think it's, it gives people now a target, right? For the last six weeks, both the provincial and federal governments have had zero target. It's been completely, completely reactionary. Where now we at least have dates, not when they're going to open. They haven't given us a date, but they've given us a timeline, a target. If we hit this, we're going to open. If we don't, we won't because blah, blah, blah. Fantastic. I think that's great news. So yeah, that, that's it. That's all for today. Um, the one thing I'll leave you on is this. Um, I was talking to, I talked to probably this past weekend, probably well over 30 people that own small businesses and probably closer to 50 people, but we were talking about like how there's not really a good program for small business owners. Um, and it's tough. 
it really is. It's not going to be easy. But I think what's been frustrating is a lot of bigger companies are getting bailed out. And when you live in a capitalistic society where those companies are allowed to aggressively grow when times are good, they don't, they don't set enough resources aside for when times are bad. And a lot of these large companies take away in the good times a lot of the business for the smaller companies. And so I was watching a video today and it, was, it summed it up perfectly. Patrick David Bet, or Patrick Bet David, value tainment, um, talked about this analogy and I thought it was absolutely perfect. There's two different types of fires that happen in forests. Some are made man-made and others are natural. The man-made forest fires are not good unless they're, they're made for a reason. But the natural forest fires that happen, when a forest gets too overgrown and the canopy of the forest is too tall and too, too dark, it doesn't allow the sunlight in, which doesn't allow all of the other life and, and plants to grow. And so the analogy is, is that all these tall, big forests are sucking up all of the, the resources that all of these little plants and trees and, and things need that sunlight. It's the same analogy when it comes to what we've experienced in our economy. We have a lot of tall, large forests, big trees, which are the big companies. And if we let those companies, if we bail these companies out, we're doing an even larger disservice to our smaller companies where if we let those companies that have been horribly mismanaged crumble as we should we can let all that sunlight in and let all of these resources and all of these other things get to the smaller businesses customers are going to turn away from the larger corps and, and potentially shop with these smaller businesses and what does that mean if you're a small business right now this goes from any kind of small business right now you have the opportunity to transition from being an offline business to being an online business it doesn't matter what you do it does not matter and in fact you're probably going to have a lot better margins and you won't need as many customers and you'll have a better way of life if you can do that does it mean that we shouldn't have restaurants or gym facilities or uh, arenas or no it doesn't mean anything like that at all but the ability to give the customer an option and not just have to choose Amazon or not just have to choose a Walmart or not just have to choose a Home Depot to give clients options if you're a small business to be more able to cater to, to people's needs this is the time to reinvent yourself as a small business owner and this is the time as a consumer when you see when you see people that are reinventing themselves support those people go all in with those people if they provide a great service rant and rave about them on social media buy their products share with your friends and family this is the time where we can be better better civil servants to each other we can we can help each other both the business owner and the consumer it's up to us. I've been saying this since day one. The government is not going to save us. No one is coming to save us except ourselves. We can help each other and we can climb out of this mess together, not anybody else. So I think if you're a small business owner, you have the opportunity of a lifetime right now. The opportunity of a lifetime to transform your business. People are going to want to do business differently when we come out of this. Nothing is going to be the same. Honestly, nothing is going to be the same. How we eat, how we communicate, how we talk to people, how we meet people, nothing is going to be the same. Will it get back to some sort of normality that we had before? Probably, maybe, but it's going to take a long time. It's going to take a long time. So you have the opportunity, if you're a small business owner, to reinvent yourself. If you don't know and want to chat about it, if you have your business, you're like, well, what do you mean, Ken? How can I do this? Let's chat about it. Not that I have all the answers, but I'd love to discuss your business and maybe we go in, into some detail and I can bounce some ideas off of you and, and maybe I'll bring something up that you didn't see or stuff that is like, that doesn't work, but this could work. Give me a shout. And if you're a consumer and you think that there could be a better way to buy something, to use a service, let me know. I'd love to chat about it. So, long-winded as usual hope you find some value in this if you do share it with your friends share it with your family um 
no real news on opening up the government yet and opening up the, the province, but we have a target now. We have a target, which is great. So I love all you guys. Monday, April 27th. Hope you have a great week. And uh, I love the chat. So you know all of the ways to get a hold of me. Have a great day, guys.